The infamous SEC versus Ripple litigation is the focus of attention in the cryptocurrency community because it is anticipated to establish a precedent for how cryptocurrencies will be handled under regulatory control. Stay tuned as XRP is about to break out. SEC going to lose? Welcome back to another interesting episode. Do make sure to like, share, and comment below as it also encourages us to produce more valuable content for you all. If you have a specific topic you'd like to learn, please leave us a comment below and we'll work on it for you. The growing demand for Ripple's on-demand liquidity ODL technology is refueling the massive movement of XRP between cryptocurrency exchanges and unknown wallets. More than 1 billion XRP have been transferred between untraceable wallets and cryptocurrency exchanges this week. In a series of transactions yesterday, 224 million XRP tokens were exchanged on August 3 and 172 million were transferred on August 2. Leading cryptocurrency whale tracking service, Whale Alert, keeps disclosing more information about these trades. A total of 243,935,767 or 243.93 million XRP coins have been transferred between Ripple, cryptocurrency exchanges and unidentified wallets in the previous 24 hours. According to Whale Alert, a $15 billion transaction involving 40 million XRP was made from an unidentified wallet to Bitstamp. These recent significant XRP moves have primarily been driven by the cryptocurrency exchange, with its headquarters in Luxembourg. It is significant that the former CDO of Ripple sold his final holdings of XRP on Bitstamp. A few hours later, another sizable XRP movement from an unidentified wallet to the exchange was also seen by Whale Alert. This time, the unanimous wallet sent 30 million XRP tokens valued at $11.29 million to Bitstamp. It's interesting to note that the Silicon Valley tech giant took part in the most recent round of big XRP transactions. Ripple reportedly sent an outstanding 50 million XRP tokens, or $18.67 million, to an unidentified account, according to Whale Alert. It is assumed that the money was sent to an ODL client, even if the wallet's owner is unknown. Whale Alert also noted the transit of 30 million XRP tokens, valued at $11.29 million, from an unidentified wallet of the Ripple ecosystem participant, Bitso Exchange. On the previous day, Bitstamp participated in yet another significant XRP movement. The money was transferred, this time from the exchange to an unidentified wallet, 63,935,767 or 63.9 million XRP tokens were transferred from the Bitstamp exchange to an unidentified wallet, according to Whale Alert. The value of the coins at the same time of the transaction was about $24.08 million. Additionally, it was discovered that Bitso sent 30 million XRP tokens, valued at $11.16 million, to an unidentified wallet. According to cryptocurrency YouTuber Ben Armstrong aka BitBoy, in crypto regulation in particular, you currently have two bills, the Kirsten Gillibrand and Cynthia Loomis bill, and this bill aims to change the crypto industry structure. The second bill is yet another Senate bill, and what will it accomplish? With this bill, the CFTC will be in charge of Bitcoin and Ethereum since they are commodities. Although it's possible that more coins will eventually go to the commodities list, it would be intriguing to see if that is a measure of success. Technically speaking, according to the definition, there is Bitcoin and then all other coins, which are all altcoins, but Ethereum has developed a unique identity. If we start to notice some of these shiftings over to commodities, would that change? The SEC is also attempting to enforce various laws, pursue American crypto exchanges, and take other actions to put significant pressure on the crypto market and ensure that they can handle as many as possible. The Loomis Bill, which discusses stablecoins, is to the significant, crucial legislation in all of this when it comes to these laws. According to Armstrong, we can have people that don't know about crypto regulating crypto. It makes absolutely zero sense what we need and it looks like we're going to be getting. The question that remains is how this relates to the CFTC. Why is this relevant? This independent organization? Well, it appears to me that what we may witness is a different kind of procedure where you're looking at this law coming in and then they're looking at moving forward and creating this independent agency. But it'll be some time before that actually happens. What they're truly going to do is most likely establish a separate arm of the CFTC. They are the ones to lay the foundation for many of the advantageous developments in crypto. Several years ago, Chris Giancarlo, also called Crypto Dad, worked for the CFTC. Following the establishment of this arm within the CFTC, we may observe that it separates from the CFTC agency to become a separate, independent agency a few years down the road. BitBoy also pointed out that there's a great chance that the Ripple has already killed the SEC. It's over for the SEC. 
They're dead men walking. They know that at this point. This is why they're grabbing control, trying to grab power. This is one of the reasons BitBoy claimed that the SEC is likely still struggling merely to maintain its good name. The SEC is expected to fail and fail badly, according to BitBoy and many other members of the XRP community. Hundreds more XRP investors joined lawyer John Deaton's class action complaint against the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC. According to lawyer John Deaton's tweet to SEC chairperson Gary Gensler and the SEC enforcement director as of August 8, 70,100 XRP holders have joined a class action complaint against the SEC. Deaton claims that XRP owners from every state in the U.S., as well as 141 other nations, have banded together to oppose the SEC's illegal expansion of Howey. The defense lawyer for Ripple warned, you will lose the war. Less than 12 hours after the lawyer's note on Sunday, August 7, stating that the legitations was only 101 persons away from 70K, more than 200 new XRP investors joined the class action suit. The fact that attaining 70K holders has been a completely organic evolution, or perhaps revolution, is what Deaton found most astonishing. The lawyer referred the client back to January 1, 2021, when only 7 XRP holders had joined the class action case. That number has grown more than 10,000 times since then, a little more than 20 months ago. Many cryptocurrency exchanges, including the biggest in the US, Coinbase, began to delist XRP tokens soon after the SEC sued Ripple for selling XRPs as unregistered securities. The decision instantly caused a plunge in the price of XRP, with the token losing more than 63% of its value and falling to a level of $0.21 at the end of 2020. Attorney John Deaton then filed a class action complaint against the SEC, claiming that its unprecedented action caused investors to suffer billions of dollars in losses as a result of the delistings of XRP. The infamous SEC vs. Ripple litigation is the focus of attention in the cryptocurrency community because it is anticipated to establish a precedent for how cryptocurrencies will be handled under regulatory control. Ripple Labs is not the only well-known target that the SEC is keeping an eye on, though. As a result of the suspected listing of unregistered tokens, the regulator is presently looking into Coinbase. After the biggest wealth manager in the world, BlackRock, announced a collaboration with cryptocurrency exchange Coinbase to broaden the market for digital assets for institutional clients, the price of Ripple recently generated some excitement. Robert Michnik, the head of BlackRock's digital asset group, formerly worked for Ripple. After months of trying to break through a huge resistance barrier, the price of XRP is currently struggling. A significant correction might follow the most recent failure, particularly if the price of Bitcoin declines. Congressman Brad Sherman said in a recent interview that the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, will win its probe into Ripple, despite the fact that a framework for cryptocurrencies is still up in the air. Although the litigation has not yet produced results, a victory for the SEC would be devastating for the remittance token and could lead to a catastrophic fall. However, after numerous attempts to overcome the immediate obstacle fail, things currently appear to be on the side of bears. Between May 13 and June 10, the $0.381 level served as the XRP price's base. The altcoin has been attempting to recapture it since the collapse on June 11. But the four attempts have so far been ineffective. The most recent rejection, which occurred on August 8, suggests that the price of XRP is soon to change course. Things might get very volatile if the bigger ecosystem also turns negative as a result of the impending inflation announcement expected for August 10. The price of XRP can drop below the $0.340 support level in the event of a bearish onslaught. If this barrier is broken, there may be another slide with a potential retest of the $0.287 to $0.311 demand range. This decline would represent a 17% move overall. The bearish thesis will be overturned. However, if the price of XRP generates more buying pressure and turns to the $0.381 level into a support floor, investors can anticipate Ripple to act in such a way as to push it up to $0.439 in such a scenario. The content in this video is for educational purposes only and hence should not be considered financial advice. All the financial decisions should be made after doing your wide spectrum research. If you found this info helpful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this, as it also encourages us to produce more valuable content for you all. If you have a specific topic you'd like to learn, please leave us a comment below and we'll work on it for you. Until then.